But here we are in our practice war. If we are able to look after our mind, we can look after our body. At the end of the day, you are the guys are the captain of the ship. If the captain ain't steering, then you've got Titanic. You have to remove the stigma. It can happen to anyone Absolutely. from all walks of life. You train for life. Mm -hmm. Right? Train for life. You can't spend the money if you're lying in a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. I am taking a stroll through the park. On Wednesdays, we usually have team meetings. During these, one of the staff members or students give a presentation. It can be about an audit, about recommended treatments in the practice. And so far, all the meetings that I've attended have been pretty educational. This time next week, it will be Christmas Day, and the week after that, it will be the New Year. Therefore, this is the last meeting before the practice breaks up for a while. We thought long and hard about what we should do for the final meeting and it was eventually decided that we're going to come to this park for a walk and then go and get some hot chocolate. You guys know how much I love hot drinks, that's why I'm in such a good mood. Let's talk a little bit about how I've been finding the GP placement so far. Surprisingly, I'm actually really enjoying it. So far, we've managed to see a number of patients independently. And of course, we present those cases to the consultants. We discuss their management plans and then with the patient decide how to move forward. I'm on the main road now, so I'm going to have to put the camera away. So here we are on our <laughs> practice walk. The sun is rising. <laughs> what better way to start a day in GP? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can you come for walks like this often? Uh, so we do. Um, oh, we do a weekly practice patient walk, which is with uh, patients and staff. So we are trying to get uh, more and more people involved on Thursday. But this is our Christmas morning walk that we try and do to brush away the cobwebs and get everyone ready for a day of GP. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've got the angles all wrong here. Do you? No, no as in like because. Um, because Say cheese! So here we are in our practice door. Now it's time for some hot chocolate. Yes! Right, yeah? Jab, jab, slip, hook, right, good. Jab, jab, slip, hook, right, good. Get ready. Two. Hook, hook, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Good combination. Jab, jab, slip, hook, right. <laughs> and again. Jab, jab, slip, hook, right, you're done. Okay. Mental health is something um, just like come across recently. It's important that you talk about it. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people now, the stigma's gone, there's no shame in it. I've experienced it myself yeah. and it's good to get out here. There's a lot of people that are supported here, like yeah. Dom, helping me to get back fit. Yeah. So it's good exercising, training, get your mind back, back you know, it's, 
it's not it's nothing to be ashamed of no more, yeah. you know. People are aware of it and you know, there's a lot of support out there. So. It's really good you feel that way about the stigma around mental health. Yeah. I think that is definitely what we encourage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Bef- to yeah. About that's the yeah, you have to remove the stigma yeah. because it's like it can happen to anyone Absolutely. from all walks of life, like anybody. It's Absolutely. just like your mind just not being right but there's people can help you get your mm. mind back focused on track yeah. it's nothing just normal part of life yeah. so don't be ashamed of it go out there there's a lot of support there's a lot of professionals that know about yeah. this and you know it's like you know you can get back on your feet straight away and oh. you know never always hang in there and just always reach out and talk Absolutely. Yeah. That's really encouraging to <laughs> No, you. definitely, definitely. 100%. And would you think the link is between exercise and mental health? Um, I think there's the old philosophy of mind right, body right. Yeah. Body right, mind right. It's both connected. Absolutely. Two can't work out with together. I think the problem that you have with this kind of generation is basically people now do fitness for the gram. Mm. And what I always say is simply train for life. Train for life. Right, train for life. That's the thing. Money, health is wealth, as you already know. Absolutely, All right. Yeah. So the bottom line is simply one: if you make it a lifestyle, not like a chore, mm. the job is already done. Yeah. You find the sport you like. Once mm. you find the sport you like, it's easy to go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then you make it a lifestyle. The same way that you can go to the cinema or go down and get a cup of coffee it's the same thing with exercise mm. and then we're not supposed to be like a fitness Nancy and say no drinking yeah. no mm. bad food or anything but at the end of the day more than anything else it's all about prevention okay and you can't spend the money if you're lying in the hospital bed mm. this is Uncle Dom's advice for today <laughs> doctors you lovely doctors out there who we can't do anything without. The other thing is simply, how can you help us if you're not helping yourself? Mm. I understand those long hours you're doing. Mm -hmm. I understand the stress, mental and physical, that you're doing. But predominantly, you have to be exercising yourself. Mm. You have to be seeing the signs of when either your body's turning into the packet in or your mind or both. Because at the end of the day, you are the guys are the captain Mm. of the ship. And if the captain ain't steering, then you've got Titanic. All right? So look. Yep, so you have to look after yourselves. I've got a few clients, a few of my friends who are doctors working at Homerton, and I cannot believe the hours they do. Mm. All right? And the bottom line, what it comes down to it is you guys have got to look after yourself. Mm. All right? And the fact that I know the amount of doctors who are basically sort of like retiring simply because they can't take the pressure or can't do it. Burnout, suicidal, whatever. You've got to look after yourselves. Okay? All right? End the sermon. Thank you so much. I'm on my way home from placement now. Oh, my camera looks weird. I wanted to include a bit more footage in my vlog of some activities happening in the park. I saw Sam and Dom who were in the middle of a training session for boxing. They asked me if it's okay for me to include their training session in my vlog. And they were both happy with that. We ended up having a conversation about mental health which is really interesting. In the community I've grown up in, which is the Asian and black community, growing up there wasn't that much discussions about mental health. What I know now is that there's a lot of benefits with regards to talking about mental health, acknowledging your thoughts, your feelings, which is one of the reasons why talking therapy is a thing. It was therefore encouraging to see that there are people in my community who are opening the topic of mental health and talking about the issues that they had and how they overcame those. Talking about mental health in our community as well as the need for exercise in outdoor exercise has made me feel a lot more reassured about the future of our community, our mental health as well as our physical well-being. As Dom said, if we are able to look after our mind, we can look after our body and vice versa. Hey, Kitty. Hey, Kitty.